Yo, Big Santa here. So I did do a previous video with Captain Falcon and um, this is going to be a new build, more explosive in a sense. Uh, I'm having more fun with this because it also saved me the mana. So if you want to check out my other video on the Acid Blast version of it, um, this one is going to be more of an explosive trap version of it. Uh, this was brought to me by Boats571 on YouTube. And I was like, you know, I'll try it out. And I tried it and it's actually pretty fun. So I want to go over my build and this is my current equipment. So it's around, surrounds a Falcon Fist. So if you want to get the Falcon Fist, every level of Falconry will increase your AOE and your damage. And when your Falcon hits, it's a, it grants you four melee damage and 1% area for six seconds. Okay. But you have to be on arm, right? So no, no weapon. You can wear a shield though. Shield's fine. And then it also increases Cinder Strike and Valkyrie. So these kind of go hand in hand. And then increase move, melee attack speed and melee fire damage for your bird and you. Okay. So that is the main thing that you want to go for. Uh, for gear wise, I'm gonna quickly go over it. It's kind of it kind of depends on RNG what you get. But I feel like I would go for one of these. Evan the race is pretty good, give you movement speed. So we're gonna be like Captain Falcon. We're gonna be running fast. When we're punching, everything's gonna explode ish. <laughs> and so we want a lot of movement speed. So this is very good for movement speed. I do want to get Ken's, I think Kenstrel armor that also gives movement speed. But right now I'm having dive bomb. And then this uh, this shield is actually nice because my build right now is gonna depend on converting your. Uh, glancing blow and you have this skill which converts all your block into glancing so this one actually you get it every second you get a stack and every time you block you lose a stack but since you never block you never lose a stack right glancing blow uh, this one i got from the beginning is very good um this the main problem is that you're going to run out of mana right so you want to concentrate on a lot of mana regen because you're going to make a cinder strike it's going to cost a lot of mana uh 30 i believe base so just keep that in mind. So a lot of mana regen stuff. So the main stats that I usually go for is mana, mana regen, crit, 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 crit damage, fire, physical, dodge, movement speed, anything kind of give you haste will pretty much do well with you. Okay. Uh, armor is also nice, obviously. <laughs> uh, and minion damage. Minion damage is also a nice thing to look forward to. Okay, so that's my gear. We'll quickly go over that. But anyway, let's go over the skills. So this is more of a supposed to trap thing. I didn't even need to use all these points, to be honest. I technically just need to go into this one, which allows you when you put a melee attack, uh, you put a trap on them. So that's what it is. You never have to cast a trap. This build, you don't have a trap trap. You just place it on them. And then you can have your bird here with this thing. I'll go over that later. You can blow it up. So that's the one thing you want. I went for that and I maxed it out for fire shred. And then this allows you to hot potato. So if you put it on them and then they put the attack you to put on you. Every time you pass it increases the damage. So you can like, yeah, it kind of tank, but you don't really want to tank. <laughs> but yeah, so you keep hot, hot, potato, hot potato. So that I thought that was fun. So put it on there. Uh, and then I went down this way. I got more explosive traps, but then, and then I went to trap sprinkler, which allows when it detonates, you can put another trap uh down at a location and you obviously want this one i don't know how to pronounce it. i'm not gonna try to pronounce it uh, after a trap blows up uh and it spawns from this it will instantly like hurl towards another enemy close by okay and then this uh, increases the chance to 100 this is 30 percent this makes 100 but it's called extra mana but who cares about mana i'm not casting it uh and then i allow i i, I got more points into this i technically didn't need to because i didn't I, I don't know what extra trap laying around everywhere because I keep putting them down and keep blowing up from the sprinkler, which is great. So that's why I have this. But the main thing is that you want to go down here. Uh, this is whatever, but you want to get the side sky signal, which allows your uh, Falcon to get extra penetration when a trap detonates. And then you get this one, which when it explodes, it makes lowers your cooldown of all your Falcon skill, which is great, right? Falconer. You'll see it later and on um, that it will be useful because a lot of these are pretty much going to support Cinder Strike and um, 
if you can make cooldowns of them slower, you can support better. Okay, and then I just got this at extra points put in there. All right, so the main power here, the Cinder Strike. Well, this is one of the main powers. Dive Bomb and this are the main powers. Main DPS. So, usually by default, Cinder Strike will hit three times. The first AoE and then the regular two hits are like random pokes, okay? So, what you want is you want to get this, but then make it cost mana instead of costing zero. But you always just be spamming AoE. That's where the more big damage comes from. And since it costs mana, I want to lower the efficiency, so I got this. And then the next important thing is to get the Fire Eater. Because uh, as you make your way down here, you get the oil coating, and that gives you extra oil stacks. And then so every time you hit with Cinder Strike, you get a stack in the last four seconds. So you kind of have to be quick. That's why I wanted attack speed uh, in the one of the passive trees. <laughs> but you get oil coating, and then that will give you... One, this will limit your stack by five. And then every stack afterwards, you get mana HP. So this is more to help you with your mana gen. So you keep spamming it more often. All right. And then uh, I got this potion thing for fun. Um, you can go whatever. <laughs> you can do what you will with that. Uh, you can get one of these two if you want. All right. Next, we got Falconry, which go hand-in-hand -hand with Cinder Strike. Uh, the important thing is mostly just to get this. Just so when a Falcon hits, it heals based on your attributes, heal mana and health. And then I also got, I went up here, got the one of these for buff of more haste. Uh, you could get more points than this. I kind of want the other thing to be more versatile, just getting more marks, doing more damage, right? So other hits have, this is kind of important too, because you have a chance to put more marks when your Falcon hits. Because I don't spam this skill a lot, right? There's, there's a strike thing, Falcon strike, I don't spam it a lot. So this is nice to have it there. Um, and then this, Will give additional damage when you consume it, and then also you get haste when it's consumed. And then I also got this for more attack speed, so it can hit more often, apply more marks. And then I kind of went for fun and got one point in like almost all of these, right? <laughs> boom, boom, well, two in this, so I can unlock this. Right? And then went all the way down and got one point each. Because these also give your stats to your Falcons, which is great. Okay. And then I got Aerosol. This thing is super quick, fast cast, right? So I, I, and and then the important thing here is directly using it gives you mana and it's my transversal skill. So you use it for movement, which is great. So this gives you a point of your mana back, right? So this is an important one. So I lowered the cooldown with this thing, lowered the cooldown, increased the damage. And then I went for the health. And then this one, when you use it, it actually lowers the cooldown for Falconry and Dive Bomb. So this is important for the Dive Bomb thing, because then they kind of go hand in hand and have synergy. But uh, let's, you know what? Let's just go look at Dive Bomb. No, let's just stick with this. <laughs> Aerial Prowess is what I went for next. And every time you cast it and then you do crit afterwards, then you get stacks, right? And then the stacks increase your damage and heals you. And then non crits, I got this one. So the non crits will also happen. So you don't have to be too, too dependent on it, right? And then when you actually use it, you get extra haste and frenzy. This is good. And then um, while you're moving, you get. You get um you get extra global damage dodge, and then every stack you have increases your dodge. So it's kind of the more defensive build. So this in turn will make your dive bomb faster, right? And then we go to dive bomb. We have uh this thing right here that makes your your transversal skill, aka area assault, faster. So you want to get this, and it gives you mana. So every time you hit a rare boss or a rare enemy, you get you get to cast them more often, right? So they kind of go hand in hand. You keep spamming these back and forth, kind of. It's great. And you get mana too, right? And then the important thing from after that is getting the skill here. It's supposed to dive. So when you put the bomb on the, the enemy, you can just instantly blow them up with the dive bomb. You don't have to wait the one second. All right. This thing applies it. You got to wait one, one second for arm. If you don't want to wait, you can. But you still have to wait 1.5 seconds to attach it again so that's the one thing uh so i got that and then i went down here for a shorter and damage increase so that's why i went for that for the faster uh die but there's a passive that is makes the instant so i i don't know you cannot get this i got it uh, uh more importantly i went for this critical shred afterwards because I don't use decoys, I don't use these, I don't really use spears. You're not going to use spears, you're unarmed. Uh, I don't have any shadows, so it's kind of useless, so I just went. 
You can use Grim Shout. Yeah, okay. So what I went with is explode defenses. So a more crit and a more crit will go with the aerial prowess, right? Because then you do crit and you get that uh, guaranteed to get stacked instead of 40%. So that's the important thing there. And then you can get extra slow is great too. Slow them down. Apply stun. <laughs> oh, this one applies stun. My bad. So I had to because I wanted to stun. Okay, now. We have passives. So let's look, look at the rogue. So number one thing is to get this right here maxed out. Does it give you haste every time you hit? Right? And then you give you extra increased movement speed. And you're, I mean, not increased movement speed. It gives you damage based on your movement speed. Uh, so that's where all that movement speed you want to funnel into this, right? Uh, and then I got attack speed so I can spam it more often. And then I got glancing blow. Uh, that in turn got me this health, right? This one into this. Uh, you kind of don't need to do this. By the time you get here, you probably hit 20 anyways. <laughs> but Glancing Bow is more defensive and more dodge. Then, um, for Falconry, I did get some points in this, but that's like later on. Because I, I want the movement speed and Glancing Blow. But the main part is get to the Falconer. Uh, I wanted the mana regen because I'll be spamming Cinder Strike a lot. And then it's extra dodge, and I got one point in this for extra dodge. And then this gives you haste, so you want to max it out too. So first of all, I think I started off by maxing this out for extra haste. The chance for your bird to, to attack and to haste you or your bird, which is great. And then I went into this. And this extra drone damage, I think this is a giving dex and also 5 points, which increases your uh, damage, aka your explosive bombs. Okay, they consider throwing, right? Throwing. Then I went for Blast Radius, so the explosion would be bigger, my Cinder Strike would be bigger. And then this is the one where I'm talking about where the block chance is being converted to Glancing Blow. This is it. Extra block chance, and then it be converted. And then this is the one I was talking about being Instant Cast. We don't have to get delay, so... Um, you can kind of put away some points from that and then put it into something else. But it does increase the cooldown, but I like it, so I like Instant Cast. And then I went for crit, right? We obviously want crit, so we went for that, or I went for that. Crit, and then I also went for a glancing blow here. And this one gives haste, so pretty much after crit, I went for this. Increase haste and duration. I probably should max this out. Not gonna lie. Uh, and then I went down here for more dodge, increase, because I just wanted to get some points. Uh, heal when the Falcon hits, and then armor when the Falcon hits. Right. And then I also got more dodge here, increased movement speed, aka increased damage. So got that for this one, max that out. And then lastly, I got this for glancing blow, and then I got this for extra crit HP. Right. So yeah, that's pretty much my build. Enjoy the rest of the clips of me trying to explode things. And I'm only like level 80, 85. Drop it, boom, right? Dude, dive on a lot. Yeah, so I guess now I don't have like a mana issue. Get back here. You can slow him down with the dive bomb. My problem right now is my defenses. Take too much damage. 